Hey, it's Sabrina Carpenter, and this is Los Fans Get in Soda. I think I crushed it? Babe. Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, it's Sabrina Carpenter, and this is Los Fans Get in Soda. Alrighty. Now we're gonna open these. My favorite red carpet look. Wow, my favorite... I think my favorite red carpet look was probably this uh, pink Celine dress that I wore. My stylist, Jason Bolden, courtesy of him. Um, but it, it was actually a, a Billboard Women in Music event where the, the red carpet was actually pink and like the backdrop was also pink and it was the same pink as my dress. So it just was like, we couldn't have planned it better. Be better? I love Ben. We couldn't have planned it any better. Um, I felt like Princess Aurora or something like that. So that was a really cool look. I just like, what are the beauty products of my daily routine? I have quite a few. Um, I've like kept up a pretty decent skincare regimen since I was like 15 because I didn't have great skin. Um, so definitely like face wash, cleanser, that's the same thing. Um, toner, <laughs> um, moisturizer, sunscreen are definitely a huge part of my daily beauty routine. And I also love perfume. It was a huge part of my life in like the last year and a half. So I think there's a few scents that are my favorites. Okay. okay, who is the most famous person who follows you on Instagram? I do not know. What? I have no idea what you're saying. Paris Hilton or Salma Hayek, who I love. I, don't, I actually don't know who would be the most famous person to follow me, but both of those are pretty iconic. Okay. Which Disney prince was my crush when I was a little girl? I think I had more crushes on the princesses than I did the, the princess. I really don't remember any of their names. That's the problem. Um, but I was always just so, so, so obsessed with like Rapunzel. Alice in Wonderland, Tinkerbell, I love Tinkerbell. Yeah, can't can't actually tell you one of the princes names if I'm quite honest. That's funny. Why is that? Whatever. Love the princesses. Who would you rather interpret? Lizzie McGuire or Hannah Montana? Wow. If I'm Lizzie McGuire, then I get my own cartoon. And if I'm Hannah Montana, then I I get the best of both worlds. It seems like both of them have the best of both worlds, so I'm a little torn. I'm gonna go with Lizzie McGuire for no reason other than the fact that I would love to be animated. I think that'd be cool. My mom's gonna be like, you're animated enough. You're fine. <laughs> what is your favorite chick flick? Hmm. Huh. I guess How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days is a necessity for everybody. So I love that movie. What is your favorite karaoke song? Lady Mamala. Um, Cause I like to sing all four parts. Lil' Kim, Maya, Pink, Christina. Yeah, that one's, that one's a solid one. Okay, we're getting towards the end, folks. Tell us about your experience um, on Mean Girls on Broadway. My very short lived experience in Mean Girls on Broadway was, it was generally one of the best, most rewarding experiences of my life. Um, I've always wanted to do Broadway and I hope I get to go back in the future. Uh, but just such an honor to be in a show with such incredibly talented people. And the show is so funny and I'm just such a huge fan of it. Um, and playing Katie Heron was just iconic. So I'm very, very grateful. It was a lot, a lot of work and, and you just have so much respect for then everybody that's a part of the show on stage and off stage because they're just so good at what they do and so focused. So great experience. 10 out of 10 would recommend being on Broadway quote, moment in Broadway. <laughs> well, um, in two nights, there's a, a lot that you can learn. Um, I mean, it's funny because my Broadway debut was, uh, was in this show. So that in general, I think just overall is such an incredible moment for anybody in their life. When, you know, if you ever do Broadway, like your debut is like a really, really huge thing. Um, so just overcoming like a really big, not fear, but just like thing that I always wanted to tackle. Um, and it was just rewarding because I had my friends and my family and it was really, really beautiful. What do I like most, Broadway or filmmaking? 
they're so different, like in every way, shape, and form. And in filmmaking, there's a lot of like hurry up and wait. There's a lot of sitting around. And on Broadway, there's it's once you start the show, you don't stop. Like it's it's really like a roller coaster until you're done. Um, so there's a lot of adrenaline rush. Um, so I think I love them for different reasons. I really do like the the idea of getting to like perfect your performance and taking your time in filmmaking. I think that that's something that's really cool. Um, so I love them both for different reasons. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought this was gonna look cute if it wasn't.